Hey everyone, I'm Amanda with Sweet Pieces, and today we are working on some of our new display cabinets. We're about to have another renovation in the Huntington store, which we're really excited about. And these are going to be our new cabinets for some pretty sweet products that we sell. General finishes, artisan enhancements, and of course the one and only temp paper. So have you guys heard of temp paper? It's really cool. It is temporary wallpaper. So if you're non-committal and you can't decide on a design, this is a really easy way to spruce something up. So it's meant for walls. It was born out of a New York City apartment. But you can, of course, we're using it in all kinds of different ways. Backs of cabinets, you can use it in bookcases, you can use it on the insides of drawers, on a dresser, or on the fronts of drawers, which is also really great. We've done that too. Um, so here are our new cabinets. I'm going to show you quickly how simple this is. We did these cabinets. This was the original finish. I call this like honey maple, which is, you know, I don't know, nowadays it's kind of hard. <laughs> um, so we're going to be covering that with temp paper. It is paneled. It has like a groove there, but I'm just going to kind of go over it with the temp paper just to make it a completely flat surface. Um, and we actually gel stained the rest of these cabinets with general finishes in the black. And if you can see, you can kind of see like some of this maple coming through, which is not so bad. It kind of gives it like that wood grain kind of a look, which is nice, but we just didn't want to keep that honey maple color. And we are going to be doing this fabulous pattern in temp paper called Peony Noir. How gorgeous is this? It's a charcoal, brand new pattern, charcoal gray with a gold metallic peony on it. Peonies are, of course, my favorite flower, so I am in love with this pattern. So, Tem Paper has some really cool patterns, tons of them. Some of them are textured, some of them are metallic. I love this one. We did this on George to the Rescue. Um, this was in the back of a book uh, bookcase. It's a herringbone ash. It's kind of it definitely has a wood grain texture to it, which is so fun. And this is kind of a picture of it in the wood grain pattern, but it also comes in the white, which is really great. Um, they have all kinds of really funky modern patterns, some really beautiful ones as well, timeless. And then what's, what they also carry, which is really cool, are these stripes, which is so fun. So like if you don't want to measure stripes and paint them, you can very easily do this with their stripe patterns, which is so cool. These come on a roll. So these are sold in a standard wallpaper size, uh, 33 feet on a roll by 20 and a half inches. One roll in general will cover about 56 square feet, which translates to a, like an eight, an eight foot high wall, seven feet wide, approximately. So let me show you how super simple this is. I have pre-cut this, so I don't have to keep it here on film forever, because we want to get it done, right? Um, and I kind of just measured it out, how wide it was, by how tall it was, and cut it. And then I had to match my pattern. So let me just show you what I did. I basically, you know, you just set the roll next to it and kind of, you know, move it along until your pattern matches up. And you can see that it matches nicely right there. And then I just measured it and cut it um, exactly how big I needed it to be. Super simple. Now, temp paper, one of the awesome things about it, it is self-adhesive, so no messy glues. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna peel back a corner. So I'm just going to peel off the top. I'm gonna just get it into the edge here. And this is probably hard for you to see, I apologize, but trust me, this is easy. And you're just gonna kind of get it straight. I'm gonna take my handy dandy smoother tool, my squeegee tool, and I'm going to start kind of pressing this out from the center. I'm then just going to peel, press, and just keep going. Now, here are some important things to understand about temp paper. If you want to be able to remove this, you need to put it on a wall or a surface that has been painted with satin sheen or higher. So satin, uh, semi-gloss, glossy paint. Um, if you don't, it could potentially damage the walls when you go to remove it. So that's something to remember. For us, on the, I mean, it probably would come off this because it's kind of shiny, um, but we don't really, I'm not really worried about it coming off. So I have some bubbles here. You can use your tool to kind of push them out. 
Um, or what's really great about temp paper, you can also reposition it. So if I need to just peel this off and put it back on, um, you can definitely do that with the temp paper. I'm not gonna get crazy about this right now, but you get the point. There we go, super easy. So now, and then if I have any excess left over at the bottom, they do recommend that you actually add like an inch or so to the top and the bottom to give you a little bit of play. You would then just take a razor blade and cut that off. So next, I'm just gonna go ahead and match up my next little strip here. And this is gonna kind of match perfectly. And you just kind of put it together and then peel it down. And there is a hole, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's a tiny little hole there, which is gonna let a little bit of light through. This is gonna have um, some cans in it, so I'm not like super concerned if this is totally perfect. If you were doing a wall, of course, you would want it to be totally perfect, which you can. We've done it with many walls. Um, you can come and visit us either in Huntington or Massapequa, and we have lots of things finished with temp paper. We have furniture and walls and things like that. And coming soon to the Huntington store, we're gonna have even more really fun stuff done with temp paper. So one last thing that I wanna tell you about temp paper, not only do we sell it by the roll, we also sell it by the foot. So if you do have a small project that you wanna do, um, we can sell it to you by the foot, which is great. The ones that we have in stock, which is about 10 or 12 different patterns, any of those you can buy by the foot. They range from like five to $7 a yard, I'm sorry, a foot. Um, or if you want one that we don't carry in stock, you have to order a minimum of 10 feet. And the beauty of 10 paper, they're really close to us, so we get it in like 24 hours, which is fantastic. Don't live near us, you can order online, sweetpieces.com, or if you're lucky enough to be here on the island, come and visit us. We can't wait to meet you and teach you all about 10 paper.